Well everyone, I'm going to show you how to check if a thermostat is good or bad. Otherwise known as operating or faulty. Now, you want to boil water. Okay, just uh, get normal tap water and put it in an old pot. Make sure the thermostat's in the cold water already because the vehicle takes time to warm up to open the thermostat. So this just simulates it except it's water, not antifreeze. Then you want to make it come to a boil. Usually, if you put it on high, that's quicker. You can see that there's a little brass looking piece in the center, and then a housing on the outside. And if that brass piece is raised above the housing, like so, it's a good thermostat. If it just stays flush with the housing, uh, like how it is when it's cold, even when the water is boiling, that's a bad thermostat. And if it stays closed, no heat. And even if your heater is still cold with a, a new radiator cap and pressure cap and uh, even new coolant, if it's still cold, that means your heater core is plugged or, or uh, it, I mean, it needs to just be flushed. But to get a flush, you know, without the, without the thermostat, it'd probably be about $80, $80, $90, depends where you live. That's how it works. It's a good thermostat.